tell us your story. Some of y'all probably get tired of hearing this story. Because some of y'all been here forever. You've heard this story many times. So, growing up, I was always into sports. From a young age, loved sports, loved football. I'd put my brother's football gear on and I'd out run around the house and crash into all the furniture and whatnot. Um, grew up, was really dedicated to sports, football, wrestling, basketball, right? Other sports too, but those are my main three. And so I'd spend a lot of time doing that, but in my like spare time, what I would do is I would game whenever I wasn't doing school sports, I'd usually be gaming. So I grew up on console playing Call of Duty, Halo. I never played a game on PC until RuneScape, if that even, you know, if that even fucking counts, because it's RuneScape, you know. And then I played some World of Warcraft and a little bit of League of Legends. I had never played a shooter on PC. Um, high school ends. I decide I'm going to leave football behind. I could have probably went and played at a smaller college, made it to a bigger college. I was a pretty good player. I wasn't like the absolute best of the best ever but i was a pretty damn good player but i knew that i wouldn't be able to like really make something big with it i knew i probably had like the talent to make it to a college right and play but i, I probably wasn't gonna go anywhere at, with that with it after that so it felt like it was gonna be like a waste of time for me to continue going um so i i gave up football started going to college uh, i was going to college for exercise science and nutrition because i'm really into those things um And to give a little more background, my family growing up, my dad was uh, always into construction. He had his own construction biz uh, business. He would build houses. Um, my mom had, would work a bunch of different jobs. And uh, I had been going to co college. I went to college off of uh, grants and some uh, scholarships. Well, my parents were helping me some go to college. I was also working uh, at a home and farm business. Uh, long story short, 2008 housing crisis really put like a huge dent in my family. We did really well before that. And then 2008 housing crisis happened and it like really screwed us up because my dad being a home builder, he had a bunch of homes on the market around the time and he wasn't able to sell some of them. And so when you're just sitting on those and nothing's selling, right? And you've got all this money in the houses and you have to pay the, all the the payments on all the fucking construction loans that you got it wiped out a lot of people luckily my dad was smart enough to know that he kind of foresaw some stuff coming but he didn't realize like what it was going to be exactly but it still ended up putting us in a bad spot where we had to sell our house um we had to move in with my brother into his house we were all living together for a while and then eventually we left his house moved into a trailer court uh, basically, you know, my, it like was like a full on reset for my family because of the shit that had happened. Same around the same time, my mom got into a car crash. Uh, she was unable to work. And so it put a huge fucking strain on the family financially. So I left college because they were still trying to help me some like go to college. And so I left college because it was going to be a huge strain on them. And they just didn't seem... I can use that didn't seem right for me to keep going in my how I felt. I also wasn't 100% certain that I wanted to go into what I was studying. I just felt like I was wasting my time. So I focused on work. Ended up starting to work at uh, Costco. Uh, I was now, uh, I had just like turned 20. So I was working at Costco. We were living in this trailer in a fucking trailer court. Um, it's a really shitty time around that time. I mean, shit was not good. You, you know, you feel like your family was, like, doing pretty well for itself, and then you get fucking knocked down, and life deals you some uh, some hard punches and go from, you know, living pretty good to now you're living in a fucking trailer court. And uh, obviously around the same time, you know, like, when you've got, like, all this extra stress and all this change and everything, it doesn't make for the best environments always. It wasn't like it was bad, but just uh, shit time living in that motherfucking trailer. So I was just spending all my time that I could possibly be, uh, possibly could working. I was just putting as much time as I could at Costco, as much time in overtime as I possibly could. And luckily I worked somewhere where like they would just let me fucking work however many hours I basically wanted to. I was working like 68 to fucking 80 hours a week, uh, when I first started there. Um, and I started 
you know, around that time, it's funny. I've thought back about this quite a bit. Like, but when I wanted this first happened, it was like I had this mindset when I went into it of like, fuck, man. Like, how could it, like why did this happen to us? Like this boohoo, like the fucking what was me mentality. And it was fucked up because I usually had never had that, like, especially coming from sports and the amazing coach that I had in football. He always taught us, you know, he always taught us about like hard work that, hey, man, fucking pick yourself up, dust yourself off, keep going, adversity going to happen. And it's like for just a while, like, oh, this shit's sunk in. But then one day, I don't know, I was just there and it like hit me and I was like, man, fucking what was I doing during all this time? Like my family's trying to help me and all this shit. And I probably could have been fucking helping them. And I, I honestly, at the time I felt and still do was like, I should have done more to help them rather than be this fucking going to college and they're trying to help me while all this fucking shit was going on. I didn't fully understand like shit back then, but that's what I ended up feeling like. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to work my fucking ass off, go to Costco, work as much as I possibly can. I'm trying to figure out what else I want to do with my life. And I'm going to try to work as much as I can so I can help my fam uh, parents move into a place so we can rent a house. And so we don't have to live in this fucking trailer. And uh, so all I was doing around the time, I was just working. I would go to the gym and I would lift. And that was my entire life. Like, I would just work and lift, work and lift. And I had the time, around the time I thought I was going to go into powerlifting and, like, try to compete in USAPL. Um, but in, like, the little spare time that I did have around then, I started watching Twitch. And I started watching uh, Amy JP, uh, Kill Carnage, and Zeke. They had started, they were, like, streamers on Twitch around the time. And they had just started a podcast and a show that they still do to today, uh, today which is called Drop Frames. Uh, when what Drop Frames was originally was a uh, show about streaming and getting into streaming, how you would get started, and all these different things. So I was watching that, and they were talking about how they got into it. And, all different things about streaming and I had always like I said in the beginning I really liked gaming I, I even armor swap I really like gaming and I'd always been really good at gaming so I was like you know dude I think that one I think I would really enjoy this and I think I could be really good at it when I was was watching these guys and so I was like you know what I think that this is something that I want to try and it was really weird because I had I had never been like so certain about something when I had first got the idea but I was like so certain about this that I was like I want to do this like I feel like I need to do this I need to figure out how I can like start a stream and so I had been working we're still living in this trailer court we don't even have an internet connection uh, but I had decided that I'm gonna start saving as much money as I possibly can while also trying to save money to help my parents move into a place. And I like made this plan. I was like, I'm gonna, we're gonna move into a place. I'm gonna get internet. I'm gonna build a PC and I'm gonna fucking start streaming. And I was like so certain on it that I started looking up a bunch of stuff on how to build a PC. I'd never built a PC, uh, PC before. Started looking up all this stuff. Started like looking at cases, everything. How do you, what do you need? Do you need a CPU? Do you need a graphics card? Like what, what are all the different components? Like how do you put this together? How hard is it to put together? If I buy a pre-built, is how much more money is that than buying it, uh, buying all the, compo the components and putting it together myself? And back then, it was way better, way more efficient to buy all the parts and then put it together yourself. Nowadays, I, I think it's actually not that much better than just buying a pre-built. Most of the time, you're probably better off buying a pre-built nowadays. But I figured all this stuff out, and I'm like, dude, all right, I'm doing this. I'm going to buy this, this, this. I flip and start ordering all these parts. They're coming into the fucking trailer court, getting these damn packages. And I was like, fuck, yeah, I'm going to build this sucker right here. And I built my fucking PC inside the damn trailer before I even had an internet connection. We should land there. Looks like fun. We were, like, looking for different places, different houses to rent, something that we could afford that, that would, like, Perfection. we could also put our damn trailer at and... Eventually found a place. We found a place. We moved in. I fucking very first day bring in the damn PC. I had like we had like this desk. It wasn't even like an actual like good desk. Some crap desk. Motherfucking some old ass chair. Got this set up ready. 
and it was funny the day that we moved in literally a guy comes over to the house he had seen us uh moving in and he had been selling internet in the neighborhood and he comes over he's like hey i see you guys are moving in. are you guys gonna need internet i'm like yeah bro we're gonna fucking need some internet right um and so We like set up the uh, appointment for them to come and set it up. It was like only a couple days after that or a few days after that. They were able to come and get the hookup and they hooked it up. I practiced for like one night playing Arma 3 BR because I had seen other people on Twitch playing Arma 3 BR and I thought Battle Royale was a really cool game mode. That's uh... that there was ne never anything like it. Like, you know, the, the very first time you guys seen a Battle Royale. It's like, how badass is this game? That, you know, all these people go into this island and only one sur survives. It's like 60 people, but only one person wins. I thought it was like the coolest game out of all time. So I was like, dude, I want to fucking play this. So I'm going to get really good at streaming this. And uh, so we start playing Arma 3. I practiced for like one day how I was going to play. This is the very first time I'd ever p played a PC shooter. And after the one day of practice, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it. I had already, like, made my stream. I had already made a, a, my Twitch and everything while I was uh, in the trailer. And I had, like, thought about the name and everything and made it. So, literally, next day, I, I had already figured out how to run OBS and all these things. Like, I went through the whole process. Like, how do you stream? How do you this? And... I learned a lot of from watching drop frames in the beginning. So day two, moved in, we got internet, finally started the stream. Started the stream. I had told a couple friends that that's what I had been doing. One of my buddies, Stutter, who still comes into the stream till this day, uh, he like swung by the the first night and he was watching me. And I think he might have been the only person in the entire stream that night. Um, and then. It was also May 5th. It was also Cinco de Mayo was when I started. Cinco de Mayo in uh, 2015. And uh, I also decided that if it was something that I really wanted to try, I needed to commit myself to it. So I decided from the day one that I was going to do a year challenge where I would stream every single day for a year obviously i was still like working around this time and i was actually still working overtime hours because i was trying to save as much money as i could so i could help my damn family still and uh so i was working like 60 hours a week but then i would work like usually throughout the day and i'd get off work and i'd come home and uh i usually go to the gym for like an hour and then i would come home and i'd stream five hours a night and it was like the second or third stream I actually started having like a couple people that came into the stream because Arma wasn't that big of a game and Arma Battle Royale was a mod within the game so it was like very niche so there wasn't a whole lot of streams for it um, especially like really late and so there'd be like a couple people that came in back in the early days some I mean, some of the people are still part of this channel to this day um, they'll come in from, from time to time but there was like a couple people that came in and, you know, I, I started getting, like, a, a follower or two. And it's funny when I started because people people always want things, like, really quick. And I, I had just realized in the early days, like, bro, if I can just get one extra person a day one to follow the me. channel. One extra person a day that would want to come and watch on a night like you. First, you have two viewers, okay? Then day three, you're going to have three. Then day four, you're going to have four. And over the course of the year, now you, after a year, you're going to have 365 people watching. So I was, that was always, I was like, if I can just find like one other person today that would want to follow the stream. Um, and like slowly but surely, we like the channel would, would start growing. And uh, started started getting better at the game, started improving at the game because I was trying to really focus. I was practice on mouse and keyboard as well whenever I could uh, I like downloaded this firing range in Arma and I actually would download CSGO and play aim maps just to try to practice the aim and build up the muscle memory because I had I had never played an FPS game on on PC so I was trying to get better mechanically at that and in the beginning I was shit 
I was shit at PC, dude. I was not. I was not good. You can go and watch old videos on YouTube. I was not that good at PC. So, time goes on. I continue this challenge. I start meeting new people in Arma. I started, you know, I met Break in Arma 3 BR. I met Halifax. I met Athos. Um, I met Fosto, who's one of my mods still. And we were all playing together. I met another, another guy. His name was Ace. Started making a bunch of friends. Kept improving the game. Um, started, like, you know, playing with different people and everything. And the channel started slowly growing over time. And... I was probably about like three months in and we had like, you know, uh, uh, we were going to have like somewhere between like 25 to 30 people watching a night. And then... I, in the beginning, I didn't even have a donation button. I thought that I wasn't... There was no there was no affiliate program back then. I can remember to this day, I didn't even have a donation button set up or anything. I was just trying to stream, just get better at streaming. My whole focus was like, I'm just going to try to become a better streamer. I'm going to try to become as, like, as good as I can at this thing as, and thought of it as like a skill to get better at. And then my my chat, people in the beginning were like, dude, you need to get a, a donation button because we want to be able to donate to you. And I was like, dude, I, I don't want you guys to donate to me because I don't feel like it, my content's like good enough to the point yet where I feel like you should be able, you should donate. Um, and they're like, no, dude, we want to fucking help you. Like, they fucking begged me for nights after nights to make a donation. But I was like, all right, finally, I'm, I'm going to fucking do it. And what started to happen is I started getting, like, a lot of support from that. And it started getting to the point where I was like, I wasn't making as much as I was at work. But even with, like, a channel where I was starting to have 30, 40, 50 viewers, it was, like, enough that it was, like, close to, you know, like, half of what I was making at my damn job. I was like, this is crazy. So I was like, maybe, you know, we could back off a little bit of the hours at work. And instead of doing like 60 hours a week, just go to 40. And then I can put more time into the stream. And so I backed off. I went from eight hours. Uh, or for, like, went in from like working overtime. And I would do just an eight-hour shift. Some, some days I'd still go in after this and just do an eight-hour. But then I would come home and then I would stream for like eight hours. So I'd work for eight hours, stream for eight hours. The merch is up on the shop. Along with the way better t-shirts if you need to let them know that you're just simply way better out here boom got those up there we got shirts we got hoodies we got hats we got everything all right there's literally everything on the shop